Yo guys, it's Ricky, and you know what? I'm gonna turn on this light. I get this scary look. <laughs> Let me turn it upward. So guys, <laughs> with the scary light, I'll turn this down a little bit. Yo guys, it is Ricky. I wanna be very careful about what I say because Anybody that hooks me up with things, um, I treasure because in terms of my YouTube channel, I'm very small. So, you know, anytime I get to do anything uh, interesting to my bike, it's, uh, it's a blessing. Before the Poison Tour, I got the Indian Scout Bobber and decided that I was not happy with the forward controls. I did not like that seating position. I went about trying to find mid controls that would work for me. The mid controls that I found were Roland Sands design. That's the first ones I I came across unfortunately they were out of stock and they said before the tour we are not going to have them so I had to go about finding another solution so I found some mid controls by a company called Evil Empire Design and I did a video about that and I got them and uh, Sheila Cunningham hooked me up with a set and was amazing and very very cool to me and I have a video about that and you can click on it right here or it's on this side I'm not sure which check out that video but when i put them on i realized that they were really for two things for a regular scout not the bobber uh, at least what they were designed for and a shorter person like sheila my legs were too high and i tried to modify it and it didn't make sense and we were getting ready to go on tour and i didn't have time to re-engineer it somehow or refabricate it i went with an aftermarket setup and we had to modify it so one side is higher than the other i just finally had to go with it so i rode all summer with it like like that. Well, lo and behold, Rolling Sand Designs just got their mid controls in. Yeah. I got them from them. I've got them right here. And I'm going to go to Roy's cycle and we're going to install them because he's really good at bleeding brakes and stuff. And I don't trust myself with that stuff. I just don't. This is what it looks like. Look at this. Roland's garage. That's kind of cool. Wasn't really prepared to do an unboxing. Anyway, this is the kit. It's a good looking kit. I'm gonna have to put all this stuff in my bag. Uh, look, I mean, this is just beautifully machined. And it's nice and light, too. And then I have a few other goodies over here. For one thing, I have a, looks like a probably a, yeah, it would be the rear brake line. Oh, there's a sticker in here. Open says me. Open. What is it? this rear pulley I think it makes room for it it's a gorgeous gorgeous item we're gonna get moving right now and put this on the bike so I think all of it will fit in here I hope. there's the instructions I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna fit all this stuff in here all right we managed to get everything in these two bags without it being too crazy keeping this open because I need to throw some water in there in the camera. Without further ado. How's it going, man? How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Roy doesn't feel well today, so we're going to be very nice to Roy. <laughs> First, we're gonna do is look over all this stuff and make sure we have everything we need before we get started because the one thing we're worried about 
is the linkage because we did modify it the last time when we fabricated this thing. So we're going to look at all the components here. Holy cover, like I said, all the stuff is beautifully machined. Don't we want these things back about here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's look at what we got. Let's see what the finish When, when in doubt, read the destructions. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you see my little dent right here? I'm so upset about that. We can't even figure out why it happened. Okay. Meteor. Okay. Meteor. Roy has a good feeling about this. Um, I think Roland Sands knows what they're doing. So, uh, I mean, any, anything that I've worked with I think, seems to work really well. So a lot of people wonder why you want to put mid controls on a on an Indian bobber that is arguably a cruiser. First of all, it is a mid-sized cruiser. It is not like a big lanky cruiser, big heavy cruiser. It is bike that I think that you would choose to ride a lot more in the city limits and in town and not eat up hundreds of miles on the freeway, although people do it. To me, a classic bobber does not have forward controls. And there's one thing that I think Indian, I hate to say it, got wrong. This is out with the old. This is out with the old. There's the old setup. So we put that on, or at least we mocked it up for me. All right, so what this little dealio is, that right there, it basically stands the peg off slightly. Um, it takes up that space and stands it off so that it uh, clears everything on this side and aligns it as such. Such is a weird word, isn't it? All right, so, so far, we have that assembled, and the first foot peg is on here. First control, I should say. Looking good so far. Nothing looks like it won't fit. The thing that sucks is when you have to fabricate new shit. I don't think we have to. Hope not. So the only thing we're not loving about this so far is the bolt that goes across here to hold this linkage is slightly short. It will work, but it's only a couple of threads. We like a little more than that. So Roy is on a hunt for something slightly longer. I think he's got it perfectly. Really yeah, Alright, so we got that not locked down, but we got it all fully assembled. And we had this little, what is a pulley cover. That is on too. And after I sit on the bike, we'll, we'll adjust make this. minor adjustments, get it dialed in. Moving to the other side, I think. Well, we're going to put that little cover. I thought of everything. Right, so we're on this side now. And basically there's this adapter here to offset it, to get it out far enough away from the pipe. Looks like it's fairly straight ahead. Yeah. So far everything's been fairly straight ahead. Pretty, pretty good. No tricks yet. This goes like that. Yeah, there you go. We are moving along right now. How you feeling? Uh, I feel like shit. Not my best day for sure. This is good therapy for me, though. <laughs> you better get this done. Your GQ shoots in two hours. Oh, shit. So where we're at now, catch you up a little bit here. I'm going to come to this side. Right? Is the linkage that goes to the rear brake. <clears throat> where we haven't gotten to so far yet is how we're routing this uh, brake line. That is the next thing to figure out. Because right now, it's the stock one, and the one that they sent us is a bit longer. And it's got to go in under here. Uh, I have an idea. All right, now we're going to get into the spot that nobody likes, and that's 
break line bleeding. Roy's already into it. Ain't fucking around. There's black line going here. So brake line bleeding basics. What's your take on it? Air goes up, fluid goes down, bleed it from the top. So Roy has bled these brakes. Put the line on, did all that hard work. That's some heavy lifting. It's nice and solid. That linkage is beautiful on this thing. And it's about 100% easier to do than the last one. Should I sit on it while it's up there? Yeah. This is fine. Feel good right there? Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, not really. <laughs> Remember the other one was up like this. Yeah, that was crazy. This is, in fact, I even felt the cramp. That's okay? I think it's going to be fine. We can raise it up a little bit? I don't think we need to. I think it's it looks like you're breaching too far to get under it. Just let your foot sit relaxed. Okay. That's right there. All right. Yeah, I'll make it so. All right, cool. This is why I came to Roy this time instead of doing it myself. Sometimes it's just better to... I have to remember the last two times I've done this myself and then brought it here the one time. I am done with mid-controls, okay? We. This is it. We're, I'm going to be happy with this. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Better looking, huh? That ain't bad at all. No, it's not, huh? Yeah. Feels kind of normal. It does. Oh. Well, the brakes there is a lot of mechanism right there, though. Owen, yeah. You know? See, I still would have put... I agree. ...the master cylinder up here closer and got this as in as far as we could get it. Right. Because, you know... I wonder if width-wise it's the same, though, on each side. Well, it's hard to tell. <coughs> Really? Yeah, it's not bad. It's done. It's sitting outside. I'm going to saddle up, head home, and I'm going to report at the end of the ride how it feels. I think it's going to feel better. I'm excited to get on here and try it. Uh, the jury is in. And I gotta tell you, this has made me fall in love with the Indian Scout Bobber all over again. It is phenomenal. Roland Sands did such a great job with this kit. It's really great. I think Roy was right. Say that ten times fast. I think Roy was right. 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 That I probably need to adjust the linkage just a little bit on the shift side, just because I'm reaching a little bit. But I mean, it shifts so nice, and the linkage is so short now. Before it was so long. The stock, it's long. It's one thing that just the only thing that would be nice is maybe if Roland Sands would send me some of those really cool flat track handlebars. You no, know, if you have any questions about this, I really think it's phenomenal. I really, really, really do. Honestly, I'm not saying that for any other reason except I'm finally happy with my mid controls. <laughs> Take care of each other and keep rock alive.